All right. Fucking good, <laughs> good sport, baby. Poverty Picks back in the house. Oh, Poverty Picks episode two. Sweet, sweet 16 we edition. Sweet 16, baby. When was the last 16. time we, we Super did this? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> <Very long time laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back ladies picks. and gentlemen. Yeah. Fuck the Chiefs. Yeah. I, I nearly cleaned the... I literally cleaned house, so if you want to look back at the, yeah. uh, the other video I did. Mm-hmm. I, I, I said Michelob was going to be the first bear commercial. I was correct oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Remember that? All right. The Chiefs, my three-legger hit. So, yeah, I'm off to a good start here. Yeah, yeah. three-leggers hit. I think most of our three-leggers hit. Yeah, those three-legger dudes. All right, let's fucking... Let's make some fucking picks. Let's do it. So I guess first up, fucking K State taking the Friday and Thursday slates. Yeah, we're taking all eight games. All right, all eight Getting games. A sweet all sixteen. All, all, all eight games. So K State, Michigan State, right off the rip. I'm gonna have to roll Michigan State. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Yeah, disagree. Kansas State money line. Money line. I mean, well, yeah. the spread's minus one. Yeah, it's well. minus one and a half. MSU, right? Yep. So, I'm going to take Kansas State points, just because it's one and a half. You just want the plus one so and a half. So, why not? One and a half. K-State. Dude, it's March Madness, dude. All these games are coming down the wire. I don't understand how people are getting, like, plus ten. I mean, Princeton is plus ten against Creighton tomorrow. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, and wow. then also, what? Miami's Princeton's plus seven and a half time. against yeah. Houston. And San Diego State's plus seven and a half against the But uh, going back to the K... Uh, Kansas State MSU game. I got Kansas State plus one and a half. All right, Fonz, what do you think? Kansas State. <clears throat> all right. Money line all day. He's doing something back there that yeah, we won't speak one, upon. I mean, why, don't, <laughs> why don't you just take Kansas State money line at that point? I like no. the points. So are we picking the spreads? Are we taking spreads? I, I just did. All right, let's just, know, just let's, let's just let's just I guess I guess, I guess we'll bet bet the spreads here. We'll be we'll be picks I guess. All right, next up, roll skis against Arkansas. Easy pick, minus three and a half, UConn. Come easy. on. Easy. You already yeah. know. The UConn I, mean, I don't think any of us can go against UConn. <clears throat> no. Nah. Except for Fonz. Fonz Sorry Fonz, Fonz, for Arkansas fans. I took UConn on Fonz is, Fonz is betting Arkansas. Yeah, but, it, yeah, it's a home team here. You know. yep. you UConn boys do? were getting rowdy. Yep. And Vegas got kicked out of their hotel room. They're, they're ready to I go. I think that game... Strictly relies on how Alex Caravan performs, though. But every single time I watch Alex Caravan shoot the ball, like, yeah. I just feel like it's going to go in. I don't know why he yeah. has the, the silkiest stroke. Regardless of you can, you know, fall short in this year's tournament, they're going to be very, very well set for the next couple of years. Oh, they're very well set. I mean, I think it more so depends on if, if UConn just dominates the shit out of the glass. Which, yeah, I mean, which they should. They I should. Mean, if you, I mean, they should just put the trees out there. Just have they snow going. Clean. They've, yeah, they've hardly run the trees. The they yeah. should do that. I mean, I mean, I, I like that one of them's always in the game. But you know, all right. So I guess we won't we won't talk too much more. Skis. Yeah, we're taking UConn. Minus yeah. Three Roll skis. Roll skis. Uh, next Roll game skis. is FAU Tennessee. I think <clears throat> Tennessee is gonna fucking kill them. Minus five and a half. Yeah, I got a vendetta Easy. against FAU after what they did against Fairleigh Dickinson. I think that was pretty disrespectful. That was Very disrespectful. I, mean, I had was just Fairleigh Dickinson up. plus uh, seven and a half, so that hit. But still a disrespect at the end of the game. Very and for the guy that didn't even finish the dunk, which is incredibly <laughs> embarrassing in and of itself, but the bench warmer waving goodbye to a 16 seed, I thought that yeah. was extremely distasteful. So, yeah, I think America is, I think almost all of America is on the side of yep. Tennessee, Good except old, for maybe Florida Atlantic yeah. themselves. Good old Rocky Top. But yeah, hopefully Rocky Top. I mean, they held Duke to, I mean, under 50 points in a tournament game, which was the first time that's ever happened since, like, I think 1989 or something like yeah, that. Something wild. Something regardless. Something fucking so, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we got all America against FAU, which is why. Yeah, I'm so I mean, I think them, even I think the lines five. minus five. No, they're minus yeah. five. No, I'm taking FAU plus five against Tennessee. What? What? Yep, plus five. Why are you gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> Love I don't FAU. Know. I, don't, I don't agree with that. I think I FAU. Think is, I think they're they gonna were get very disrespectful, shit but you know they got a chip on their shoulders. So, all right, they're playing hard. They're uh, trying to embarrass people. They're gonna embarrass Tennessee tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
on to what might be the game of the, the Sweet game 16. Of the Sweet 16. Uh, Gonzaga UCLA. I'm rolling Zags plus one and a half. Think uh, Drew Timmy. It's just game time. Yeah, tournament. I think the experience that Gonzaga does have in the front court, especially yeah. in March, is going to help them out here. I think Drew Timmy is. I mean, he's a guy that's thrived in March his whole career, so I yeah. think that maybe they have a slight edge offensively. But again, who knows? This UCLA seems pretty good. So what is this? A two versus three seed? Yep. It is. We rolling sneak him up. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the spread for minus one. Obviously, I don't like any minus spreads in March Madness. But I don't know. I think UCLA is taking. I got UCLA money line. All right. You saw. Uh, moving on to uh, Friday. Ooh, the Friday. 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 SD State, Bama, minus seven and a half for Bama. Uh, I think San Diego State's going to easily cover that. Ah. I think that this, the, I think Alabama's going to get lucky one more time, and I think that Brandon Miller is going to have a really good game amid all this kind con- of, like, you know, all the controversy that's yeah. going on with Brandon Miller, regardless. But, um, uh. I think he's going to finally yeah. break out of his shell. I mean, he's been having a really tough march amid all of this shit that's been going on with him. Yeah. Uh, didn't perform well in the first game against uh, Texas Southern. Didn't perform well in the second game. And, um, yeah, I think he's going to break out of his shell, and then I think they're going to just completely wipe out San Diego State. Uh-huh. Probably, like, by 15, at least 20 points. Oh, wow. That's a, that's wow. a bar. So, yeah, that's going to be my bold play of the day is we're going to take – that's your lock. Yeah, Bama minus seven. It's not going to be no. It's going to be my bold play. Bold it's play of be the day. Taking minus fifteen. Alabama Bama minus alt ten spread. and a half alternate spread. Okay. Whatever that may be. All that's right. only going to be like plus one fifty three. Yeah, but okay. I guess. But it's going to be. I think that's yeah. Nah. Minus ten and a half. That. I might go up to my plus two hundred. You taking the plus there, putt? Yeah, I'm taking plus. Yeah, seven I got there. plus seven and a half. San Diego. San Diego. Oh no! On the aisle. On the aisle. Okay. Uh, Houston, uh, Miami. Miami. Uh, Big I, Miami fan. I'm taking this straight off the bat, plus seven and a half. I like yeah. a money line, but I'm just gonna take the points. <laughs> All right. Wow. Do um, not like Houston. Do not. I I started this tournament completely hating Houston. I thought that that. Um, since they were still like you know an AAC team, consider I thought that them being considered a one yeah. seed was still a little, you know, a little far fetched. But fuck the American disband. Uh, Marcus Sasser has completely changed my mind with how he's been playing as well. And um, yeah, I think that everybody wants uh, the upset here. Everybody wants Miami to win, but I yeah. think that Houston again is just gonna you know it's gonna be like a boring end to March in my opinion. It's not gonna be. Except it's never for, been a boring end. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I mean, there have been a, there have been a couple of years where it's been more predictable than not. Yeah, that's that's true. But um, last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, more. hopefully we see the Huskies at the end of it. But I don't think that um, I don't think that Houston's going to lose or Alabama. Uh, yeah, I got Miami plus seven and a half again. I don't. I, I don't. I don't, I don't like either of these one seeds in this in these games. I think they're both fraudulent. I think yep. they're fraud. Fucking Houston's frauds. Nah. I think Houston's gonna surprise you. Well, if Houston, if Creighton beats Princeton, and Houston beats Miami, then it's Creighton Houston, right? Or Houston's got the Bama winners. Regardless of the fact that no, Princeton, an Ivy League team that doesn't uh, give out formal athletic scholarships, is in the Sweet 16, is a miracle in and of itself, and I think it's something that everybody should applaud. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be heavily rooting for Princeton as well going into the next round. Uh, so, yeah, no, Houston is going to play yeah. Xavier. Yeah, okay. Xavier's okay. going to make the Final Four. So, that, I mean, that's just Southern Stone as well. So, let's book that too. Thank you. <laughs> book it. Uh, all right, this is uh, probably one of the trickier spreads here. Uh, Creighton minus 10 against Princeton. I think I'm going to have to go. Plus ten, Princeton. I'm gonna go uh, with Princeton plus ten. Yeah. Yeah, I think Creighton all years has been kind of big, big old letdown in the Big East. Uh, mm. Surprised they're even at this point, to be honest. I mean, unless there's just a flip switching with them, but yeah, they've been hot and cold all year. Yeah, 
very hot and cold. So plus ten Princeton for me. I mean, yeah, I I agree with you. I think that I mean this isn't. You know, they're playing, you know, another team that is not nearly as talented as the two seed Arizona team with two Bellas that they beat fairly convincingly yeah, in the first round. They they Princeton. So I think yeah. ten points is still I think that's still a crime in and of itself. Yeah, so, yeah I'm gonna be that's rolling what I'm saying, with Princeton dude. plus yeah. 10. March Madness spreads a plus ten. I just there's no way you can't take that. So uh Princeton plus ten. Yeah, Princeton's Princeton's here to play. All right, so uh last game of our sweet sixteen here. Also could be game of the tourney or game of the Sweet 16. Uh, Xavier against Texas. Texas is getting four points. Love Xavier plus four. Yeah, I agree with you. I love Xavier. Um, I think that Jack Nungy and Jerome Hunter are going to be able to, you know, control the front court. I think Dylan DeSue, I mean, Dylan DeSue is coming off a 27-point performance. He was 14 for 20 from the field, but, I mean, that was all inside the paint. So yeah. if somebody is to neutralize... Dylan DeSue in the paint, I think that Xavier is athletic enough all around the court to be able to guard this Texas team who is, you know, they're pretty sporadic from the three-point range. They got a lot of guys. Marcus Carr can explode from three. Serge Abari Rice, who had seven threes in the first game against uh, fucking... Fucking Serge Abari. Who'd they play? In the round of 64? Yeah. They played... um, Who did they play? Cut. Yeah. They played. Might have been like UC Irving. Oh, Wait, Colgate. Colgate. They played Colgate. Ivy League. School. Yeah, so just to, just to restart that, um, I think that Xavier is athletic enough all around the court to be able to uh, defend this Texas team who has a lot of guys everywhere that can you know, just make the threes whenever they really want to. Um, Marcus Carr did really well from three this year, shot near 40%. Serge Jabari Rice had seven threes in the first game against Colgate. Um, yeah, I mean, this team can, I mean, they could light it up from deep and any, really anywhere on the floor. So, I mean, if Xavier is able to control, you know, the, the tempo and the tone on defense, they're going to be able to uh, – yeah, I think they're going to be able to slide by. What's it, four, four and a half? Yeah. For, what yeah, so I'm going to go with Xavier. Four, it's probably four yeah, and a half. Yeah, probably four and a half now. I'm going to go Xavier plus four and a half. All right. You take, a, you take this? Yeah, I mean, I've watched this Texas team hit, like you said, ten threes. But I've also seen them go two for 20. So it's really all about what they can do from beyond the arc. And then... Yeah, I like Xavier plus four and a half. All right. But if they do go off from beyond the arc, then we're going to probably see an upset or a blowout from Texas. <laughs> Xavier plus four and a half. Yeah. All right, so now we got the three-leggers and the lock. Yeah, there you go. Sneaky way to just take over and... Sneaky's getting up. <laughs> going for a stretch. Um, All right, so this is going to be the part of the episode where everybody gives you a three-leg parlay of the best picks that they think that they're going to uh, that they're going to hit. And um, yeah, yeah, that's that's that is the explanation. That's that's basically, that's basically yeah, that's all we got here. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my three legger. Uh, this is just Thursdays, right? No, <laughs> no. It's, it, we're, this whole thing we're taking the whole slate. Those, it could be any three leg from any of these eight games. <laughs> right, I like that. Uh, I got UConn money line, Gonzaga money line, Xavier mm. plus four and a half. <laughs> Zaga money line in that three leg. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go Xavier money line. I'm going to go UConn minus three and a half, and I'm going to go. Princeton plus ten. Okay. That's it. I'm going Yukon money line. What are you doing? Obviously, Yukon money line. Then I got Miami plus seven and a half. 
as the second leg, and the third leg is going to be FAU plus five. <laughs> FAU plus five and a half. All right. That's my three-legger. This is the part of the episode where we pick our locks, just so just a single lock bet. Uh, for me to start it off, I'm going to go UConn minus three and a half because we roll skis here. Fuck it, lock. Dawson, what's your lock? That whole thing. Lock it up. Um, my lock of the day is going to be Kansas State money line plus one hundred because uh, they listen to little baby like it's church. And <laughs> how how can <laughs> just go watch the video on YouTube of them listening to the Lowdown by State. Little Baby? It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> It is it is absolutely wonderful. So yeah, it's gonna be Kansas State money line plus one hundred. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's his lock. Kansas State money line plus one. Plus one hundred. Oh, plus one hundred. Like the like the. All right, I don't know if they can see my face. Doesn't matter. I'm giving you a lock. This is a sneaky bad lock. You, you can, <laughs> this is the epitome. This is for the Thursday. This is the epitome Slate. of a sneaky bag considering you cannot Just see fucking, fucking take face. UConn. Sorry, excuse my language. Just take UConn. <laughs> UConn money line. Even though we do live in Connecticut and we are not legally allowed to bet on and UConn, nice. which is a crime yeah. in and of itself right. as well. We actually gamble for the players. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we just hit up. We our, go, we hit up go ask. We go hit ask Adama. Go ask. Yeah. Go ask Adama Sinogo. Go ask Alex Caravan where they call him the Caravan, because he's carrying all the money that I make for him after we bet on all the UConn games every year. That's <laughs> 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 so fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think. That has been an episode of Poverty Picks. Maybe if this jumble fuck of a, of people, <laughs> you con, you con. Yeah, gotta get huskies. Whoa. Also, yeah. shout out Duck for letting us know that we don't know how to use a microphone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out Duck for letting us know that we have zero idea what we're doing with this microphone. What is this blue? Oh, yeah, yeah. You like that? Oh yeah. Got like it out that. of a dumpster. Dude, you know, dumpster um, diving. Dumpster diving for a class. That's why we call it poverty picks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we don't make any money and we have to Yep. Yeah. That's why. That's why we're uh that's why we're taking the s- wow. spreads here. Yeah. So maybe if we get these three folks back together on Saturday morning to pick the Elite Eight games. It's but, gonna uh, happen. It's gonna that happen. It's gonna happen. That's probably not gonna happen. That might not it's happen. gonna have to happen. See, I work. Yeah. We'll see how these Friday when Thursday I, games I go. go. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Go to work. Fist. <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> Fist him. Fist. Like, subscribe, noggin. Wow, that's 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 real original. <laughs> <laughs> who do you who do you think you are? I am. All right. Fist. Who does that? Bound it. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Dude Perfect does that, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Dude um, Perfect, play me in a game of golf. Yeah, pussies. Koozie golf coming soon. Yeah, Um. if you guys want to see how horrible Ash is. How horrible we all are. <laughs> We're all so bad, it's not even yeah. funny. I, don't, I still don't even know how to swing my driver, so. All right, we're going to get the fuck out of here. We got, we got more stuff to record. Right, this is Cougar Sports. I don't know. Yeah. We got your uh, March Madness poverty picks for the week for the Thursday, Friday games. Good luck. This guys. video might not Good even luck. be up before the games start. So. It will be. We're trying. As long as this internet stays true in the red barn here. Good luck and roll skis, baby. Roll skis. Yeah.